Hey, he's not Italian, but his name is Luciano. We're here in Medellin, Colombia. Got some pineapple on deck. Stay tuned today. We're going to actually talk to you about revamping some spiritual practices for my friend here and uncertainty and why that actually is security for you in times of uncertainty. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. Like I said, we have Luciano. I actually just met him for the first time today, so this is going to be a beautiful experiment. I was already going to record this video about uncertainty and the infinite power behind uncertainty and why we want more space in our lives with this variable of uncertainty, the ability to detach, because when we live too much of a rigid life, we don't have that much space for things new to come in. So um, I wanna ask him just openly, what do you think I might be able to do for you or what are you hoping for around spiritual practices, around what we said a little bit so far, uncertainty. What, 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 what would you like out of life? I think I just started meditating like um, for a whole hour, like two weeks ago and changed my life like mm -hmm. awesome way. So um, I wanted to like ask you like how this go, where, where this go, like if I, if I continue meditating, where, where my body is going to go, where my mind is going to start to believe like how this can, how how this opportunity to learn meditation is going to improve myself in this un uncertainty, what we live in today, you know, how, sure. how it's gonna make me a better person, and when when we go out of this quarantine, like be able to understand what just happened and mm. just move on, you know. Okay, I understand. So I tell you what, this is a really good question. <laughs> Let's get this uh, back and forth. It's a beautiful question. Uh, what is so miraculous about meditation and why it seems to be such a widely popular topic of discussion in today's world is because the world is speeding up and as a part of that people are becoming more and more disbalanced so what is meditation going to be able to do for us in this moment well for starters to access our greater potentials that we have to access and really tap into the manifestation power behind something like meditation, it requires stillness. And stillness is literally defined as not moving and not making sounds or being even best you can around sound, which is why your friend, you were meditating when she said 4.30 a.m. There's no one, no one's awake usually. It's a, the quietest time. I told her, I woke up when the first bird yeah. uh, was yeah. his voice. Yeah. And she said, okay. For Tori, for Tori. At that time, the first word. That's good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> and and so that's the stillness. So what does meditation do? Meditation is really one of the easiest ways. Not the only way. And I don't want to confuse you with it. It's not the only way. It is one of the easiest ways to access the... It's actually Deepak Chopra. You ever heard of this yeah, man? Yeah, of course. Okay, Deepak Chopra is one of the ways that he explains that you can access his first law, which is the law of potentiality. So a law of potentiality is where our potential can manifest something physical, right? It goes from the spirit to the mind to the body. The mind uses thoughts to create physical objects and we manifest things. It could be money, it could be a girlfriend, whatever you decide, whatever you want to create. So I, I believe your question was what is the importance of meditation? What, what can improve to myself in this time to start meditating? after this quarantine happened. What can you improve? Or what, yeah. what do you want to improve? Yeah, what can improve? What, 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 is, what is it good to do it right now after all this happened to be like a better, better with sure, your mind? Sure, 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 with, sure, yeah. sure. Um, I think that goes hand in hand with a little bit of what we were saying today. To relieve your attachments to things. 
that's one of the best ways I can honestly see you, myself, and everyone improving. Relieve our attachment to outcomes, especially. Right? So, when this happens, uh -huh. it just happens. When it happens, it happens. It happens. So the Next move, next move. That's the thing. So, when you have an intention, when you have a desire, you set that out there. You meditate on it. You have an hour, whatever your time frame. You set it out there. The biggest thing is to relieve your attachment to the outcome and for when it comes. You know, because... What happens is we try to force it and we say, I want a million dollars. One of the most cliche type things, right? Yeah. And then we want it today. Or we try to be reasonable and we say, I'm going, I want it in a year, right? But it's like, this is not how the spiritual laws work, period. They don't. Especially because it also takes into account your intention. It takes into account... Um, <laughs> Welcome to Medellin, baby. We're gonna roll with it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. I don't even have to pay YouTube to have music in the back. It's just live. And so, um, I just lost my train of thought, though. I, 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 I did for a second, but um, what, can you remind me where we were? You were talking about um, how you you can set up your mind. To... Sure, 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 sure. Okay, so. So, you know, the, it's the outcome. When, when we have such a firm grip on the result and we want it when we want it, how we want it, instead of throwing the intention into the world. Uh -huh. How do you set up your mind for that million dollars or, or other things you want to do? Exactly, exactly. You know, when you, when you set that intention out there, you also, what's also important is to have a good will behind it, right? Do you want a million dollars just for possessions? That's not a problem. It's not a, it's not a bad thing to, to want something. It's not. What makes it a problem is when we repulse the objects that, of our desires away. We push it away because of our demand to, to have it when, how, where we want it. When we want it. Rather, it's, not when we want it. it's not when we want it. It's when the universe says, I think it's time. You, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it's time. You know, one of the things that's special about like the way the spiritual laws, the way the universal laws work is it works through uncertainty. Because we're so certain and so sure of everything, of how it should be, rather than accepting how it really is, we block the blessing. This is literally how we block the blessing. If you know when you wake up, every single thing you're going to do from the beginning to the end, seven days a week, 365 days a year, where is the space for something new to emerge? This is why uncertainty is, is, is absolutely critical. And this is why the real security that most of us in life are looking for lies in uncertainty. Now here's the best part. The way uncertainty works is to accept uncertainty. That's like step one. You have to accept it. You can't just say, okay, I'm going to be uncertain and I'm secure. You have to accept it. You have to like... Every, every day is a new day. Every day is a new day. And, and you really can't expect everything that you, that, you, that you want to be. You know what I mean? Life changes every day. And here's the magic. Here's when it really starts to happen. When you accept uncertainty, only then do spontaneous solutions present themselves. Every problem that you come across, it does not require force, I promise you. When we force, we repel. If we push it further away. You want money, but you're trying to force money, you're going to push it. You want love in your life, but you want to force the love in your life. You want to try to force somebody to love you, you're going to push them away. But when you just say, you put it out there, you manifest, you do some meditation, you do some stillness, you accept the uncertainty, the problems that are in your life are going to spontaneously present their own solutions. This is one of the reasons why meditation is important because I think I met you today because you are my solution. I met this guy today! <laughs> I met him today! Like 40 minutes ago. Literally, 30 minutes ago. We just started ago. this video like 10 minutes ago. We just met like 20 minutes after this video. I came up here to record this for myself on this topic. And I, and I asked him, I said, are you shy on camera? 
<laughs> he's like, no, I'm one of a kind. Like, yeah, yeah. Right? He's like, no, I'm, I'm one of a kind. I'm unique. And I said, good. And I was like, I'm about to start this video. But I said, what do you know about uncertainty, security, attachment, detachments? And, you know, now we're here. So I just want to say for the moment, you know, I hope that you found some value in this. If you have any questions, go ahead, feel free, comment below. I'm going to keep talking to my man, Luciano. Uh, and, and, and if you want something as, uh, to, if you want me to exacerbate this topic, you want me to really elaborate further on this or tell you more, because this is just a unique day, it's just a unique setting, um, just, just go ahead, comment that. Subscribe, please, because you already know this is the mission to get more people to understand what I believe is very important for us to have in life some of these topics to be able to meet people like Luciano. So if this is something interesting I to you. I'm looking forward to understand what meditation can do in my life. Just to see what can happen. Nobody knows what's gonna happen after this. No, no. I want to be stronger in my mind. But it's gonna be magical, I tell you that. Love.